Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. I was hoping Matt would get to hitch a ride on one of those mm, tractors. Those tractors are so cool, all decked out in lights, I mean. A lot of fire trucks too. Usually mm -hmm. when I'm up there, I want to kind of jump in the passenger seat of the one from, uh, I think it's from Hemingford, mm. Quebec. Oh. Uh, not 100%, not but usually it's a green Ford from, uh, I think, the 70s. Very cool. Yeah, a fun time there, and it's pretty enjoyable weather. Not as cold as it has been in recent years. A winter storm watch already up for early next week, Sunday night into Monday. There's a flood watch as well. A lot of components to this next storm. We're waiting for the parade in St. Albans. This is our live camera there. Thousands of people waiting on the fun stuff to come on through. 28, so if you're not really moving around, it is cold, but could be a lot worse. The rain showers really start to fill in Sunday morning, turning into a steady rain by Sunday afternoon, but that flip to wet snow happens through the night, Sunday night into Monday morning. So widespread slippery travel for all of us Monday morning. But the mountain snow goes all day Monday into Tuesday morning, while at the same time some rivers are in minor flood stage while it's actually snowing on Monday. So just a wild storm on the way in. 19 in Newport, most of us though in the 30s. The very beginnings of the storm getting ready. Actually, see that box there, Southern Colorado? That is a uh, snow squall situation. So we're watching that moisture that'll eventually gather as we go along. But again, it doesn't really get here till, till uh, Sunday morning. The only exception is later tomorrow, there may be a little bit of a shower, but I think most of the time it's dry tomorrow. So if you wanna do things outside, even eight o'clock Sunday morning, not a lot going on, but the rain is steady and heavy, 5 p.m. Sunday. And there's that flip to snow as we go through the day. I should say nighttime Sunday into Monday morning. So Newport, Barrie to Rutland to Bennington. That's the transition line to snow at 5 o'clock in the morning on Monday. All of us over to snow by about 8 o'clock Monday morning. And then as we go through the actual daytime hours, it basically reduces down to just the mountains. And this mountain snow will go all the way into Tuesday morning because of a northwest wind. So one to about two inches of rain before that switchover, and then this snow is all after that. We're talking about a solid four to eight inches for most of the Adirondack Park, two to four inches in the Champlain Valley, and then eight to 12 inches along the spine of the Green Mountains. This only goes till 10 o'clock Monday, though. There will definitely be more after this going into Tuesday morning, so the storm total could be more like 20 inches or so at Jay Peak. It actually might be a net gain so there's all the melting with the rain on the front end, but then the snow that piles up after that. Not a whole lot in Brattleboro, but four to eight inches from Manchester and Bennington, Ludlow about two to four. So all of these rivers here will be, or forecast to be in minor flood stage Monday morning. Basically the typical spots, typical trouble spots, Osebo River, uh, the Winooski, both at Essex Junction, Waterbury, Mad River as well. This forecast can fluctuate a little. It's very hard to actually pinpoint the flood potential. And certainly if that snow switchover happens earlier, it's possible that the flood risk goes down. But that flood watch is up going into Monday. And it's mostly snow falling from the sky during the day. Monday, again, more so just the mountains as the day goes on. Temperatures in the 30s for the rest of the week, and it turns pretty quiet. Jack?